Hello everybody. Now, if you see somebody walking around humming or whistling tunelessly, it's always tunelessly into a mobile phone, they are almost definitely a composer. Okay, team, so, la! Does it always do that when I lean on? Yes, it probably does. So here's the app, um, which you can probably see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to a couple of these and try and work out which one I'm going to uh, go forward with. Some of them are obviously not whistles they're done at the piano. Okay. Christmas special. Ah! Christmas special. Coming soon. No. Come on. Yeah. That's sort of Blue Planet 3, isn't it? Okay, that's a possible. That's the same one. I want something a bit more different. That's busy town centre, isn't it? Or... Oh, the spirit of Alexandre Desplat lives on. <laughs> That's quite nice, actually. I could work with that. Oh, I quite like that. That's not the obvious one by any means, is it? But it, it's, I, I quite like it. I like it for a number of reasons. I think it's a bit strange. It's not just straight, big lyrical. And now I've got to work out what I did. Uh, Okay, so this is what's going on. So it's D minor. And then I'm just raising the third and the fifth by a semitone. Okay, that is what we're going to go with. Um, I like that. There's... Uh, it sounds kind of mysterious, as though the princess in her cloak is walking through twi in twilight through the forest. She hears a noise beside her. Is it an elf? Is it a fairy? Is it a wolf? I don't know. It's that kind of fantasy adventure thing. Let us try and take that little tune uh, and put it inside our door and see if we can create something which is equally creepy and magical. Right, I'm going to start, if we're looking for magical, you could do worse than start with Celeste. Uh. Don't know what happens next. Um, I've got two, there's the Spitfire one, and this is the East-West one. Um. This is from Symphonic Orchestra, you know, the, the, the old cheap one. I like this, I like this sound. This sound is the one I like best. 100 BPM, maybe. Too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Sounded good to start with, and then it suddenly wasn't. Like so many things in life. <laughs> what? What am I talking about? Okay. I have no idea where it goes next. Um, how about some trem strings? 
Now, I've got quite a lot of choice. Um, I quite like the Adagietto ones from 8DO because they're not quite so aggressively tremmy as some of them. Uh, let's try, okay, let's try Spitfire Symphonic, see what that sounds like. It's quite nice, actually. Which octave? Let's try that one for size. Where's it going? I've got to decide. <laughs> there is an unanswered question here. Um, what happens next? Maybe down in the octave. Where is it going next, though? Uh, I'm not sure that's right. Do I just keep going round and round? No. It feels like it wants to... Just going up to the fourth is a bit... Lame, in a way. It just feels a bit obvious. It's Inspiration! Now a bigger moment! Okay, I don't know. Okay. What happened there? Hang on. Okay, the F minor, so going to the F minor and not going to um, the augmented, but going to that, which is first inversion of C sharp. But I'm not sure I want the trems just to go straight on into that. Okay, but that's starting to sound like a plan. Double this up with a piano. I'm going for emotional piano. Nice. That was a bit of a mess. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> it's not what I got though, was it? How hard is it to play one chord right? Do you know, it's a good thing I don't make my living as a performer. There's a little clash in... Let's take that top note off. I think that's going to work better. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's all right. OK. Uh, now it's going to go into the next section and we're going to change the instrumentation. So we're going to keep, uh, we're going for, OK, I've been resisting harp up to now. Okay, let's go for that. Is that right? Where?
No. Can't go from F minor to the dominant. That sounds weird. Oh, uh, sort of. That sounds all right. That sounds better. Actually, I quite like the way it alternated back and forward. I wonder if I can make something of that. See what I mean? Bit Elfman-esque, but and actually, I'm not sure I should be playing the sort of pedal within as part of the harp. Not sure. I'm just not sure. Let's, let's see how it goes. This is where it steps up, isn't it? Actually, and I want um, a gliss into that. Um, I don't know how this is. This is a VSL harp gliss, which I'm going to shuffle a little bit earlier than that. Uh, That's all right. Um, now, what we want it to do is to sort of step up. Um, okay, so now the top line is going to be doubled with strings. So we're going to go into a... Uh, And then we're going to fill this out quite a lot now. OK. Um, now, I think we're going to double that with some clarinet. Or are we going to run a little harmony line under it? That's not so bad. Um, now, we're going to go for some low strings. Ooh. That wasn't what I was expecting at all. I want the low. Ah, uh, you know how I love this sound. I'll be in one. So am I just going to leave it on the F? Let's see. No, I'm not going to leave it on the F. Um, so I'm going to park my low string for a moment because that is not the right answer to the particular question which I seem to be answering. Um, I need to do something cleverer here. Um, we're going to put some... <clears throat> Let me go to my chelly. Let's go to the chelly. I'm using symphonic strings this time. I normally use chamber strings because I really like them a lot. But I think this just wants that sort of extra sort of gloss which you get with the um, symphonic strings. This is the hard bit when you're just trying to play it in rather than actually sitting down and working it out because... Let's see how this is going to go.
that's not so bad. Um, what are we going to do with the violas in between? Well, there's a second violin as well, so... I can do a sort of little ostinato -y. let's see how that works. That worked, and that G worked in the end because I remembered <laughs> that the top note had gone to a D, that the bass had gone bound to the G, which means the violas really needed to fill in with the with the um, with the B. I'm not obsessing about the. We're going to now put some flute on the top because that um, harp needs to be doubled, and it's a. It's a tried and tested combination. It's not right. This is um, Vienna a special edition. I love it. It's great. That's not bad. Um, we can fill out this a little bit. I think we're going to have some bassoon going on here. I don't use bassoon very much, but I think bassoon or bass clarinet. It's got bassoon has got a nice woody fantasy feel. Is that you know, do, do you do you imagine sort of orcs and elves playing um, bassoon? I do. I never hear a, a bassoon played by anything other than an elk or an orc. No, that's wrong. Elf. See how that goes. Too busy. Let's see how that goes. That one is simpler. There's going to be some flighty strings in here, I feel. Or something. Is that too much? It's never too much. Oh, God. That's so wrong. So wrong. If you're doing flighty strings, okay. There's a number of ways of approaching this. And this time I might actually go for the chamber strings because they cut through a bit more. Um, do you write music as well? What an incredible coincidence. Why don't you check out our course, How to Write Music? It <coughs> sounds really straightforward, but actually it dives in really deep to all kinds of intriguing things like the stuff we're talking about here. Check it out. It might just help. Right, where were we? So I can just do... I'm going to try some trims. And you know how fond I am of step input. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, four is four is sixteenth going to be quick enough? Do I start it on the second bar? Would that be interesting, intriguing, even? I don't know.
Okay, I've got to finish this off. Because that's working, isn't it? I think that's working. So I've got to go up to the G. So I may go... Where are they at the moment? Uh, what's that note there? I can't tell. Okay, so A flat. If go drop... then divisi them and go on to or something. I don't know what that'll sound like. It's all right. I'm not completely convinced by that flourish mm. this is the kind of thing you could play with for quite a long time but we haven't got a long time so we're not going to do it right that'll do I could double that with a bit of woodwind, but I think... Right, we're going to put in um, a bit of percussion now. We're going to go for some cymbal roll, and cine samples is the one I like best. It's just got a certain predictable... There we are, the slightly shorter one on, on G2. Yeah, that's a bit late, so we just drag it forward a bit. That's now a bit early. OK, and a timp roll, because we're going to really ramp up here. Um, so we're going to have a short timbrel. That was quite good. Do that at the same place again. Now, we're going to add some choir in here. Choir is like your big guns. You know, if you want to ramp up and give it that kind of... Oh, uh, we haven't got any brass in yet either. Um, it's really useful. Um, but you've got to bring it in carefully at the right moment. If you bring your choir in too early, you've peaked. You may as well go home on bar four. And I tend... It's really easy to overplay choir and have 58 voices, so it sounds like some sort of epic, you know, football crowd combined with a barbershop quartet. I tend to try and play it with, with two hands. I don't know. C. So I've got, um, what's going on here? Now, do I want it all the way through? Uh, and I tell you what, I'm duplicating the tracks so that they're going to the same MIDI destination, but I've got separate tracks, so actually... I can must mess about with the male part. What am I going to do with that? That is right then. Okay, that doesn't sound so bad.
we need an octave on this, don't we? <clears throat> we need an octave on that, I'm afraid. It's sounding a little bit... Uh, it needs that kick up the backside. Uh, where, come on. I know we're already using our violins too, but I'm working in this virtual world. I can have thousands if I really want to. <coughs> I should do them the other way around, really. Why should I do them the other way around? Because um, the higher one should go on the um, first violins, um, not the seconds, because the higher you go, the thinner the sound goes, and if you, you've got more first violins than seconds, so therefore you put them on the top of it. Oh, I'm starting to get into volume inflation again, turning everything up, aren't I? Rather than turning things down. That's what I tell you to do. So why am I not doing the same thing myself? Um, yeah, there's some balance issue going on there. I can't figure it out now. Immediately, so... And now, some soft trombones. Um, vroom when we go up there. So we're going to go for Spit or Berlin. And using trombones, I'm going to go for the soft ones, which, uh, so I'm going to, let me think, what do we start on? F minor. See if that works. Okay, how about an answering phrase on a French horn? Um, I could add a tuba to that in a minute, but uh, where's the... No point in having an answering phrase which plays all the time. So you give, you've got to give it some space. Okay, nearly there. Nearly there. I'm going to call this done in a minute. Um, a bit of gong because there's nothing like a bit of gong that thing okay and maybe a little subtle touch of bass drum. Wrong place. <coughs> That's the right place. You know, got to give it somewhere to go. Uh, okay. Um, the only other thing I was going to add in... Uh, I'm just looking at maybe potentially a little bit of... Is that... Have I spoilt it by doing that? I know what I'm going to do. 
to do it. I'm going to bring it in for the second right time round. So it's still quietly growing. Now. What happens? I said I'm nearly there. Why didn't I just finish? Um, what happens if these string runs um, I double on the piano? I think probably the right thing to do with that is actually to double it on a bit of woodwind. But I'm going to declare this done. Let's have a little listen. <sighs> That's There is a place for the low. Um, we need some low strings in. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said it was done. <clears throat> and you're halfway to get your tea or your cup of coffee or whatever. I'm sorry, just give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. It's going to be worth it, trust me. Because uh, what I think is, we go. Ready? Four. It's better, isn't it? It is better. You knew it was going to be better, and it was. Tuba! I did leave out the tuba, and I said we're going to have some tuba. And where is my tuba gone? Let's try him. I'm going to bring it in as we get to the um, to the verse bit. So when we go up to... Last one's going to be an uh, French horn chord. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep on saying I'm there and I'm not. Uh. Get ready, boys. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, now it genuinely is done and I'm going to save my work and I'm going to say that's it. And I promise I'm not going to stop. We're just going to play it through and feel the mystery. <gasps> What's that outside? I'm going to see my grandmother. For she lives in the forest in a tiny little cottage. But I haven't heard from her for days, so I will take her some cakes. It's a bit grand for the forest, but... Hello, Granny! Okay, <clears throat> there you go. Um, so from phone to door and uh it's turned out right that's just the beginning if this was a main title for film you'd spend a couple of days <coughs> playing around with it working out whether you really like those chord progressions all that kind of thing but anyway look i hope you've enjoyed that if you have uh remember to subscribe and there's a whole load of how to write music stuff underneath this which you can download and uh take a look at as well but until the next time see you soon